All right, so now we're going to go through some sample problems that will hopefully help you with, all right, the notes. Now use a diagram to name each of the following, a plane, all right? So you need three letters, U, T, Z, and they can't be collinear because if they're collinear, we can't notice that there's two dimensions. So U, T, Z is a plane. You only need three of the letters. You can name all four, but make sure they're all coplanar, but more on that in a second. S, X, Y, so they can be connected if you want, or you can throw in the T, and then QRS, which is the top. Notice there's five different letters, so you can pick any one of the five. All right, when going more than three letters, realize they have to be coplanar. So in other words, UTZY is, but if we go WXQR, it is not, all right? Because WX and QR are in different planes. They're skew lines, a pair of parallel planes. So in this diagram, you're looking for planes that are opposite each other, for lack of a better word. So QVZ is this front. All right, in the back is RWX. Again, if you wanted to use U, feel free. If you wanted to use S, feel free as well. QRS, which is the top. YXW is the bottom. Again, pick your letters as you want. All lines that are parallel to QR. So here's QR. All right, TS is parallel to it. VW is parallel to it, and XY is parallel. And they're all parallel to each other. So I would pick the one that is uh, nearest to it, in this case, ST, and then get all the lines that are parallel to that. Two lines that are skewed to ST. Now, you've got no direction. ST is going from front to back. So you don't want to go front to back, but you also don't want to intersect. So like SX isn't, all right, because it's in the same, same uh, plane. TY isn't because it's in the same plane. But if you look at UZ, UZ is going in a different direction, and it is not in the same plane. It's out here. So basically, UZ is going to be skewed. And then QV is parallel to UZ, so that's also going to be skewed because it's in a different plane. All right, and we're not going to worry about parallel planes at this point. All right, now, next exercise is 6 through 9. Describe the statement as true or false. AB is parallel to DE. A, B, and D, E are coplanar, and they do not intersect, so therefore they are parallel. Plane A, B, E, and A, C, F. So A, B, E is the right, A, C, F is the, is the left. However, if you notice, they both have A, D. All right, so if you want, you can add the points, the other points in the plane, and realize they share that D, so therefore they intersect. That's plane A, B. They both have C, A in it as well. Plane ABC is parallel to DEF. ABC is the front. DEF is the back, so that is certainly parallel. And AD and BE are skew lines. In fact, they are parallel. AD and BE all right, are parallel lines. All right, now the second part of this, dealing in the first dimension, corresponding angles. So if I look at 7 and 9, Seven's in the lower left, nine's in the lower left. So they are corresponding angles. They're in the same relative location. The line they both are on is the transversal, so that's K. And then the lines they both aren't on are the lines we're talking about. Nine is on H, seven is on G. So G and H are the two lines. For number 11, they want alternate interiors. All right? So if I look at five and seven, they're on opposite sides of the transversal between the lines. So same transversal K, same lines G and H, but now they're alternate interior angles. Same side interior angles. We're going to go up here. 1 and 8. 1 and 8 are both on this line, line G, so G is the transversal. And then K and J are the two lines. Same side interiors will always make like a U shape or a C shape. Finally, alternate exterior angles. All right. We got 8 and 9. 8 and 9 are both outside on opposite sides, so we return to transversal K and line GH. All right, now on the back, all right, they want you to identify the type of angles they are. One is outside, two is outside. There's the transversal. They're on opposite sides of the transversal, so they're alternate exterior. One and two, here's the two lines that one is on. There's the line that two is on. There's your transversal and they seem to be alternate interior angles. One and two, this seems to be in the lower right. Two seems to be in the lower right, so they are corresponding. And then finally, 17 by process of elimination, 
they've got to be same side material, but you'll notice they form that C or U shape that we talked about before. All right, error analysis. A student drew a square pyramid. She said the lines forming the side of the said the square base of the pyramid are skewed to the lines forming the triangular sides. Well, if we have a square pyramid, it looks like that. Okay. And it says, she said the lines forming the sides of the square of the base of the pyramid are skewed aligned. So we're talking about this line and let's say that line. All right. Okay. Now, even if we're dealing with three dimensions, that, that's true. Those lines are skewed. But basically, if we look over here, now they intersect. So can you find an example of skew lines in the diagram? Certainly, but not all. All right? So just be very careful when you say all. A map on the right shows the downtown area of the city. Name two pairs of locations that represent each type of angle. Alternate interiors. The post office is an interior. On the opposite side is the museum. All right? So the post office and museum is one set. If I come over here, uh, no, these are both outside, those are inside, so I did the bank, so I did the post office and the museum, so I'll go to the ones adjacent, the bank and town hall is another example of that. All right, same side interior angle, so now I'm going to switch them. So now the post office goes with the town hall, because they're on the same side, and the bank goes with the museum, because they're on the same side. Alternate exteriors, so now I'm going to go over to the library, since that's outside. So the library forms it with the playing fields. And then if I go adjacent to the library, I got the museum, which is also one. Adjacent to the playing fields is the high school, so that's one. And then corresponding, so I'm going to look at relative locations. Post office is lower right. Park is lower right, so I'm going to go post office and park. And then if I come over here and I go vertical, the library and the high school, the library is upper right, high school is upper right. So there you go. There's some sample problems that hopefully combines with the notes. Uh, fulfill your educational needs and wants. Have a good rest of your day.